Are you ready for the smallest room makeover ever? I'm gonna share it with you today. Hey everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I'm going to show you our bunk room makeover for my daughters in our DIY camper 2.0. Recently I made over the whole main area here of our camper, it's a 2007 fifth wheel and I just finished the bunk room for our girls. This is the main reason we purchased this camper because we love this idea of having a separate bunk room for them and I can't wait to show it with you. It is tiny, it is cute, and it is super, super pink. Ready to see the whole makeover? Let's get started. Here's how the bunk room looked originally. Your typical early 2000s oak here. It's a 2007 fifth wheel to Jayco that we have. Uh, the bunks, there's four of them and it has kind of dated looking upholstery. And also it was really, really dark. Also there was this TV unit here that we didn't really need because we weren't going to put a TV in the girls' bunk room. So I had to come up with some other sort of solution for this little nook. Okay guys, you know me, I like smashing cupboards. I like removing cupboards, especially when it comes to campers. So I decided to go ahead and take out the upper cupboard here on the TV area. It was really high up and my girls couldn't even reach it. Plus I couldn't think of what we would store in here. There is a ton of storage in our fifth wheel. We have more than we need. So I thought I would take this out, open it up and think of something else I could put in here. I also went ahead and sanded all of the wood and the faux wood in here with my sanding tool so I could prep it for paint. Then I got my little minions to help me paint in here. This space is so cramped. It was incredibly awkward to make over and film. So if you have tiny little helpers that can paint in bunk rooms like this, it's perfect. FYI, I had my girls do the first coat and then I went ahead and did the second and third coat so I could get the nice smooth look that I wanted, but they were so happy to help. And I think little B did a really good job. I just used the bare matte paint that I used for the rest of the camper. I'll leave the info for that in the description box below. Then I removed all of the upholstered sides here that were on the sides of the bunk. And I'm going to use Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in Blush Pink. Love this color and I've had this on hand for a few months and I thought I would just try something different in this room. In the rest of the camper you might remember that I used all of the bare products. I used sanding, I used primer, and I used their proper cupboard paint. But here I wanted to experiment and try to use chalk style paint. I certainly got a different look and feel with this type of paint, a little bit more rustic, definitely not as smooth of a finish, but we've had this in here for about a month now and it hasn't chipped or anything, so it's certainly an option if you don't feel like sanding or priming your camper, but again, it's not going to give you that smooth of a look as the other paint method that I used for the rest of the cupboards. I will leave that method down in the description box below. I painted the back of the door pink for a pleasant surprise when you open the door. I painted all of the trim in here as well as every single bit of this honey oak. Again, I didn't prime, I just sanded all the cabinets and then used this Rust-Oleum chalked paint. I will leave a link for it down in the description box below. Again, super awkward to get in here. I was so sore the few days that I spent painting because you have to bend really awkward, all these pretzel, aerobic, yoga, all that stuff. So I was happy to get this all done. We used three coats of the white latex paint on the walls and I used two coats of this blush pink chalked paint on all of the wood and the faux wood. I cut some baseboard trim and I screwed that to the sides of the bed. I'm just using really long wood screws for this part because I wanted it to be extremely secure. And then I didn't film it, but what I did was I sunk the screws right into the trim. I put some drywall spackle over the holes that were left, sanded that down. And then after I did that, I painted the trim in the blush pink. I think this blush pink is a really good color. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I chose it. It almost has a little bit of gray in it, so it doesn't look 
bright or obnoxious. It's just a very nice soft blush pink. I use the same chalked paint to paint the inside, the outside, and all of the parts of this entertainment unit as well. When using chalk style paint, they don't recommend using a foam roller. That is my favorite way to apply paint for a smooth finish on cabinets, but with chalk style paint, it does not work. It just makes it really bubbly and even more streaky than a brush. So I'm just using a regular paint brush to apply and again, getting more of a rustic finish this way, but I was still happy with the results. I painted all of the trim inside blush pink too and used painter's tape to make sure I didn't get any of the pink on the white walls. Okay, I have no idea why I chose to wear a dress doing this part and filming this part, but here I am, I did, hi. <laughs> so I found these wall decals at Rocky Mountain Decals. I'll leave a link for them down in the description box below. They're on the pricey side, but what happened was I bought them for a totally different project for a home show thing I was doing, didn't end up having to use them, and then I thought, hey, why don't I use them on this project? And let me tell you, I am so glad that I did. These are oversized peony decals. There's a whole bunch of different ones from really oversized to uh, slightly smaller. There's pink, white, and then a whole bunch of leaves. And I decided I was going to put these on some of the wall portions here in the bunk room. I think these are so pretty. I love the hand painted watercolor look of them. And I love how it just even further makes this pink theme just go over the top. And I have three girls who all really enjoy pink and flowers, so that's why I'm just going all out in this bunk room. Of course, if you have kids that don't enjoy pink or don't enjoy flowers, you can still use a lot of the techniques I'm using here for your own bunk room makeover, camper makeover, bedroom makeover, but just pick colors and themes that you like. For these decals, I put one right in the center here so when you open the door to the bunk room, you see it, and then I'm layering a couple smaller ones on top of it. These were really easy to apply. They actually did come with a kind of scraper tool, but I used my hands instead. I find that I get a lot of control when I use my hands to smooth things like wallpaper and decals. And I always have to say this every time I say decals because I always get hundreds of comments on it. I say decals, you might say decals if you are in the USA or somewhere else in Canada. Now, as soon as I put up the leaves for these decals, I thought, wow, these look fabulous with the original curtains in this bunk room. I was gonna maybe make some new curtains here, but I ended up putting the old curtains back because I loved how they picked up the olive green in the decal. Now I'm just finishing up on my second coat and touch-ups of the pink chalk paint. I forgot to record it, but I also spray painted some old poles that I had for the drawers. I spray painted them in the gold color I've used throughout the rest of the camper, and I installed those here as well. I found this ladder off of Amazon. I will leave a link to it down in the description box below. It's actually for an outside play structure. I didn't like the rope that it came with, so I decided to take the rope out of all of the spindles and the little ring at the top. Then I found this cotton rope that was more my vibe, kind of a little bit boho, beachy, uh, you know, that kind of vibe that I like, and I just went and restrung all of the rungs with this new rope. I just made sure the rungs were about the same width apart as the original ladder and I purchased a nice thick cotton rope. You can buy this guy off of Amazon as well, and I will link it down in the description box below. I forgot to film this part too, but I hung it up with a little hook that was screwed really well into the top bunk, and then I fringed the bottom. I also painted some quarter round trim, just like I did for the rest of the camper, and I nailed that down around the base of the wall because that gave everything a nice finished look. 
Now as for the mattresses, I just gave them a nice clean and I purchased these blush pink, of course, sheets off of Amazon as well, nice and inexpensive, and I just put those on top of the original mattresses. Now we've done this a few times, we've camped a few times in this and I've moved things around and I find the easiest way to put sheets on these guys is to take the mattresses all the way out of the bunk room, put the sheets on, put it back. I know it looks so awkward, but I promise you it's less awkward than trying to do the sheets on the bunks. I found this little gold mirror at Ikea and I put it inside of the original TV unit because I wanted to make almost like a little vanity area for my girls. Now I'm gonna to switch to my super wide angle lens cause I wanna film the rest of it with it. So this bunk room is gonna look a lot bigger than it actually is. It's about seven feet by seven feet, but my wide angle lens is gonna help you see all the little details. I hung up lots of hooks in here. I love, love, love hooks in home decor and especially in small spaces like a camper. I put some baskets down. These are gold baskets from Dollar Tree and the little LED lights are from Giant Tiger here in Canada. I use the original upholstered covers here for the storage units in the corner. Again, I liked how this olive color looked with the decals, with the leaves on the decals. I thought it was just a nice pop of green that contrasted with all of the pink that I put in here. I also added a few cushions. These cushion covers are from Ikea and a hand knit blanket that I arm knit a couple years ago. So when we camp, the girls bring their own bedding. We all bring our own bedding. So I just added some cushions in here to make it look a little bit cozy before we bring all of our personal bedding in. So as a reminder, here's how the bunk room looked before and here is how it looks now. I'm always blown away by the difference that paint makes. I know I say this every time, but it is so true. When you paint something, you can completely change the look of a space and make it look bigger, make it look smaller, make it look more updated. It is such a simple thing to do to make a huge difference. I love how this entertainment unit turned vanity looks. It has lots of baskets for storage. It has hooks. It has a little mirror so my daughters can brush their hair. I might put a bigger mirror here later, but this one's going to work for now. And I love those little diamond LED lights. The ladder turned out super cute. I'm liking the rope addition to it. And of course I love all of this pink and my girls do too. All of the hooks on the side here can hold all of their hair things, sunglasses, personal items. And the decals I think are just the icing on the cake here. They really pull everything together. And again, I love how they tie in the original olive green upholstery in here. I am so happy with how this space turned out. My girls love it too. And we can't wait to take it camping again this summer for the last time. I do still have the master bedroom and the master bathroom left in the RV, but I think I'm going to leave those until next spring unless I feel a surge of creativity coming on. I kind of want to get to making our house cozy for fall, so stay tuned for fall content, fall DIY and decor ideas, and then eventually the final part of this camper makeover. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in those comments below what you think of this bunk room makeover and what is your favorite part. I would love to know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY decor ideas on a budget. I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will watch next right up here.